Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you're excited for songs from Mr. Levi. Let's do it. Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I am so excited to be with you guys on this wonderful morning. We're going to do some worship. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called Always. And I'll read a little verse for you guys at the end. The song doesn't have any hand motion, so y'all just sing along. Sing praises to the Lord this morning. Here we go. Thank you for singing with me this morning. Oh, I love that song. I've actually got a verse for you guys for that song. This is Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Guys, a refuge? You guys know what a refuge is? I want you guys to think of like, like, a, like a fortress, like a castle. Like God is is like a big castle that surrounds us and we know that no matter what happens and no matter what attacks us, that he will be there to protect us and to take care of us. And we can trust him that he will never, ever fail. How amazing is that? Oh, that's such good news every single morning. The next song we're gonna do is the Zacchaeus song. You guys know this song, but we're gonna do some hand motions, okay? We're gonna start with Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. So we're gonna do just small, small things with our hands. You guys can do this. Wee little man or you can do wee little man. He climbed up in a sycamore tree. So pretend you're climbing a tree for the Lord he wanted to see. So look around, see if you can find Jesus. And you guys do a little pathway with your hand. And as the Savior passed that way, like a little Jesus, little Jesus walking on your hand, 
He looked up in the tree. So you look up like Jesus was looking up at Zacchaeus, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. And then, for I'm going to your house today. And when we go into your house today, so we're going to do house. You can do marching if you want, but it's really like, going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. You guys think you can do that? That's a lot of hand motions, but y'all, this song is so much fun. You guys can come up with any hand motions you want, and it's so much fun because we're just learning a true story from the Bible. So fun. Here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as that Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house to so much fun. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as that Savior passed that way, he looked and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. <laughs> that song is so much fun, guys. It's, so, it's just a couple chords, but it is so much fun, and it's a true story, guys. We learned about the little man named Zacchaeus, and he did some not nice stuff and took some money from some people, and he shouldn't have. And Jesus, even though Zacchaeus was not a very nice man, loved Zacchaeus. Jesus loved Zacchaeus, and he said, Zacchaeus, I'm going to hang out with you today. And Zacchaeus ended up giving all of his money away back to all the people, even more than he had taken, and he started following Jesus. How amazing is that? Guys, we learned that Jesus teaches us that we need to love not only people that are nice to us, but to the people that are mean to us. And we can be kind to people even when it's hard. Guys, I love y'all. Thank you guys for singing with me this morning. Keep washing those hands. Y'all are doing a great, great job. And I will see you guys really soon. Love you guys. Bye. God's people had lived in Babylon for 70 years. Then King Cyrus, the king of Persia, took over Babylon and let them go home. Some of God's people went to Judah, but some of them stayed. Nehemiah stayed and worked for the king of Persia. One day, some men came from Judah. Nehemiah asked, how are God's people doing in Jerusalem? The men had bad news. The people are in trouble. The walls around Jerusalem are broken down and the gates have been burned down. Nehemiah cried. Then he prayed and fasted. The king noticed Nehemiah and asked, what's wrong? Why are you sad? Nehemiah was afraid. No one was supposed to be sad around the king. Nehemiah said, the city where my ancestors are from is in ruins and the gates of the city have been burned down. The king sent Nehemiah to Jerusalem. Nehemiah inspected the walls and led the people to start rebuilding the walls and gates. The workers put in doors, bolts, and bars. They cut stones and lifted them into place on the wall, and they filled in gaps and holes. All around the city, people worked side by side. Soon, the wall was half as tall as it had once been. Not everyone was happy that Jerusalem's walls were being rebuilt. Some men who lived nearby were angry. God's people kept working on the walls, but their enemies made a plan to attack them and stop their work. God's people prayed and chose men to guard the walls all day and all night. 
But the people were discouraged. Our enemies are everywhere, they said. Nehemiah reminded the people that God was with them. Don't be afraid, God is great and powerful, Nehemiah said. Be ready. If our enemies attack us, God will fight for us. Enemies could threaten God's people, but they could not make God's people stop building. Their enemies were not in charge of rebuilding the wall. God was. So God's people went back to work. Some stood guard with weapons and others worked on the wall. Some men worked with one hand and held a weapon in the other. They were always ready to fight, just in case. Nehemiah was a wise and good leader for God's people while they worked. In just 52 days, the wall was complete. The gates were repaired and the wall was restored. When all of Jerusalem's enemies heard that the wall had been rebuilt, they were afraid because they knew God was with his people. Nehemiah led the people to rebuild the walls around Jerusalem to protect them from their enemies. Jesus came to protect us from our greatest enemy, sin and death. He died on the cross and rose from the dead to rescue everyone who trusts in him. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson on Nehemiah today. Nehemiah is not a story we talk about a whole lot, but it's a really awesome story because Nehemiah had a job and his job was to build the walls to protect God's people. And even when things got really scary because they thought another army was gonna come attack them, Nehemiah and God's people never gave up. They continued building the walls, they continued doing their job, and God provided, and the walls were built and they were safe. So no matter what comes against us, if we just keep trusting in the Lord for our protection and we keep working for His good and His glory, He will protect us. And we don't know exactly what that looks like, but we can always trust in Him. Guys, I hope you have a great week, and I cannot wait to see you soon.